The weather was so wonderful, so I decided to place Boba's bed by the window for her some bathing. She wasn't sure about it in the beginning. Then she finally situated and was content. I was sitting in front of my paper and wondering what I should paint next. Then I suddenly realized that I hadn't painted Boba yet, although I have taken tons of videos and pictures of her. That's why I decided to challenge myself painting cats. It's my first time painting cats in watercolor. I am nervous but also excited getting out of my comfort zone and painting a variety of subjects are one of my new year resolutions so let's see what i can achieve this time First, apply water to my paper. I'm going to adopt wet on wet technique to create a soft and dreamy background. I want all of my colors to blend well together, so I make sure to have enough water for it. I use yellow and blue to indicate sunshine and sky from outside. Then, I add purple and dark green to enrich the background. I leave off paints to create a soft edge between Boba's fern and the background. Now the background is done, let's move to painting Boba's bed. I don't use masking through this time because I want to create soft edges of Boba and her back. While painting, Boba felt 
bored, so I made a pool table for her. I would like to create the texture of her bed. So after I apply the first layer to define where is darker, where is lighter, I mainly tap my brush with color into the wet surface. So as you can see, I can slowly building the texture of her bed. Now it's time to paint Boba, which is the most challenging part. I started with her ears, which is light pink, like a pinkish peach color, and then gradually move into her head, just define the basic shapes, where it's darker, where it's lighter, for the first layer. Now the first layer is done, let's add the darker colors to create shadows, landing on Boba's top section of her head, nose, and the lower section of her cheeks. The main lighting is from the window, which is behind Boba's head and ears. It's dry, let's add more details of Boba's ears, including the veins. Instead of using flat wash technique to create darker areas, I use brush strokes to create the texture of Boba's fur. This technique might take longer, but the result can be different, which you might like. Now I add the same blue from the background and the back to Boba, so we can create a coherence of all elements in this painting. Now we just repeat these steps to create the texture of Boba's fern for the whole area. During the process, I kind of feel like a meditation. I mean, creating each straw brings me peace. I 
don't know how you feel, but I feel peace, and it's kind of like a healing process for me. Especially, you see, it's little by little, the whole body is formed. It's time to paint Boba's pink Q notes. Now let's finish the front part of Boba's bed. This way we can create the depth of this painting and also make it more complete. Boba has green gray eyes. Those colors are really beautiful. The key to painting realistic eyes is to create shadows and reflection. Some artists paint the eyes in the very beginning stage. But I like to save the eyes for almost the last part to paint. This way I can check if other parts are done. Also, in Chinese belief, eyes are the window of our souls. Once you paint the eyes, you bring life to your animals. In order to make a boba's whiskers obvious, I use white gouache to create them. Some whiskers are very long and fine, so I use the Ridger number no. 2 brush to create very fine lines. This brush is from Skimani Art brand. It has a very fine tip and can hold water and paint very well. If you are interested in trying it out, you can find a link and my discount code in my description. I'm actually happy with the final painting. I created a looser background that is different from my normal style. However, I really enjoyed 
the process. Sometimes getting out of my comfort zone has brought me different experiences and perspectives. Let's see how Boba reacts to her own painting. Do you think that Boba likes it? How about you? Thank you so much for being here today. I hope that you enjoy my painting process, tips, and techniques that I shared in this video. Before you go, please drop me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe, and turn on notification. Until next time, happy painting!